Hello, this is Top List. Sometimes bridges don't evoke any feelings in people, they just exist and are little different from an ordinary road. But there are bridges in the world that make your heart skip a beat with just one glance. Yet, there's no shortage of those willing to cross them, they beckon tourists with their allure, from bridges that can only be crossed by jumping to bridges made of glass. Stay tuned for this video. The Husaini Hanging Bridge in Pakistan is a long suspension bridge over the Hunza River. The bridge is known to sway in the wind, with gaps between the planks measuring 30 to 40 centimeters. Below, the murky river swiftly carries its cold waters. The large gaps between the planks are believed to reduce the bridge's wind resistance, as the winds in these areas can be very strong. The previous bridge was destroyed during a monsoon storm in 2011. The Jiaozhou Bay Bridge, also known as the Haiwan Bridge, is called the bridge across Jiaozhou Bay. It is currently the longest bridge in the world, with a total length of 41.5 kilometers and a width of 35 meters. Its distinctive feature is that this grand bridge is built directly over the sea bay, the bridge across Jiaozhou Bay was constructed in just four years. The main purpose of this architectural project is to connect the city of Qingdao in Shandong province with the Huangdao district. As a result, it now takes 30 minutes less to travel from one city to the other than it did before. The Haiwan Bridge is resistant to earthquakes up to 8 on the Richter scale. Architects claim that it can withstand a strong typhoon and is capable of resisting other natural disasters. The suspension bridge known as the Europabruck or Europe Bridge was inaugurated on July 29, 2017. It was constructed as a replacement for an old mountain pass that was severely damaged by falling rocks. This record-breaking suspension bridge spans 494 meters, making it the longest pedestrian bridge in the world as of today. It is situated 85 meters above the Grabengufer Ravine, in the region at the base of Switzerland's highest mountain, known as the Dom, which stands at 4,545 meters. The Europabruck is part of a hiking trail between the towns of Zermatt and Graken and offers magnificent views of the Matterhorn. The Royal Gorge Bridge is the highest suspension bridge in the United States. The bridge spans 384 meters and was built in 1929 from a thousand planks of Oregon pine, originally intended for vehicular passage. The construction of the bridge took only six months. The two main cables weigh 20 tons each and are woven from 2,100 individual strands. The structure's spans were made from 1,292 wooden beams that were screwed in to form the pedestrian part of the bridge. The Royal Gorge Bridge lacks a vertical truss, which is why it noticeably sways as you walk across it, a sensation that can be disconcerting when a turbulent river churns nearly 300 meters below you. For those who are apprehensive about crossing the bridge on foot, there is always the option of using the aerial tramway, which transports visitors across the gorge without any stress or panic. Not long ago, on the popular ski resort of Engelberg, the world's highest suspension bridge, the Titley's Cliff Walk, was opened at an elevation of 3,000 meters above sea level. It received its name in honor of Mount Titley's, where one of the world's first cable car systems was established back in 1913. The height of the bridge is truly fantastic, 300 meters above the glacier. For comparison, most bridges celebrated by European ski resorts barely reach the 100-meter mark. To reach the Titley's Cliff Walk, travelers first pass through an underground tunnel. Of course, the bridge captivates with the panorama that unfolds, showcasing nearby snow-capped peaks. Travelers can easily take in views of mountain ridges and practically peer into the abyss. The construction of this suspension bridge took four months, with a total cost of $1 million. The structure of the Titley's Cliff Walk is exceptionally sturdy. It can accommodate up to 500 visitors simultaneously and withstand powerful wind gusts. At such heights, those gusts can reach speeds of 200 meters per second. The Ahuihuetla Bridge is located in Mexico. Its construction began in 1898. It served as the shortest passage to the mining town of Ahuihuetla, where active extraction of precious metals and other valuable minerals took place. After completion, 
The Awi Wedla Bridge remained one of the longest suspension bridges in the world for many years, when the gold and silver deposits were depleted, the bridge fell into disuse. Today, it attracts extreme sports enthusiasts. Additionally, with a length of over 275 meters, the Awi Wetla Bridge is among the most popular tourist attractions. The Seven Mile Bridge is a bridge in Florida that spans the Atlantic Ocean. The bridge is 11 kilometers long and 12 meters wide. It connects the middle and lower parts of the Florida Keys archipelago. When the bridge was completed in 1982, it was the longest continuous concrete segmental bridge in the world, and it remains one of the longest bridges in the United States. The Seven Mile Bridge is effectively composed of two parallel bridges. The older one was built between 1909 and 1912 and originally served as a railway bridge. After the railway was partially destroyed during a major hurricane in 1935, the bridge was converted for automobile use. However, Another powerful hurricane in 1960 damaged the old bridge further, leading to the decision to construct a new, stronger, and more reliable bridge, thus, the Seven Mile Bridge was built from 1978 to 1982. While the old bridge remains a popular spot for locals and tourists, it is gradually deteriorating. The corrosive effects of saltwater and frequent storms are causing faster decay than the state can afford to repair. Five centuries ago, the Andes were filled with hanging bridges, believed to number around 200. In Peru, these suspension bridges were made from plant fibers and were an integral part of the Inca road system, essential for trade, communication, and regional development. Today, only one such rope bridge remains, known as Keswachaca, located in the Cusco department over the Aparimac River at an altitude of 3,700 meters above sea level the Incas have a long-standing tradition of renewing this bridge. Every year, several families from the Canas province in Peru, about a thousand people from different communities, gather and spend several days of hard work renewing it. The structure of the Inca rope bridge consists of four parallel ropes made from vines, each containing three intertwined cords, two additionally suspended ropes, much thinner, form a handrail and a system of vertical ropes connected to the bridge, placed close to each other, creating a support in the form of balustrades to ensure the safety of crossing the bridge. The Kwandinsky Bridge over the Vitim River is one of the most terrifying automobile bridges in the world, located in Transbaikalia. Although it has been standing for over 30 years, the bridge has not been officially open for use, and those who dare to cross it do so at their own risk. The bridge is about half a kilometer long, and its width is nearly equal to the wheelbase of a car. There are no railings or barriers, and the wooden sleepers laid across the metal base are not secured to each other, strong winds sweep over the river, and to prevent vehicles from swaying, drivers must open their windows to reduce wind resistance. The village of Kwanda, where the bridge is located, was once considered the small capital of BAM, by Colomor Mainline. Now, like many remote settlements, it is slowly dying. The Kwandinsky Bridge has survived two fires, which, according to some reports, were set by local residents for unknown reasons. The second half of the bridge is somewhat more sturdily constructed, at least as far as such a term can be applied to this structure. However, the beginning of the bridge looks extremely intimidating. Some sleepers are widely spaced, posing a risk of vehicles falling through. Surprisingly, despite its obvious dangers, there are no reports on the internet of any accidents or tragedies on the Kwandinsky Bridge. This is partly explained by the fact that traffic here is, to put it mildly, not very heavy. The Hangyagu Bridge in China, which opened at the end of 2017 in the scenic area of Hebei Province, is the world's longest glass bridge. Crossing a distance of 488 meters at a height of 218 meters above the ground may not seem daunting to some, but the bridge's swaying is enough to make any pedestrian's heart race. The Hangyagu Bridge is 4 meters wide and made of 1077 glass panels, each 4 centimeters thick. Officially, it can hold about 2,000 people, but no more than 500 to 600 visitors are allowed on it at once. The grand opening was on December 24. Now, the bridge is staffed with personnel ready to assist those who might be faint-hearted to steady their trembling knees.
The Dragon Spine Bridge, leading to Mount Tianmen, opened to the public on August 1, 2016. The glass walkway is 100 meters long and just over 1.5 meters wide. Tourists are treated to a truly dizzying view of the valley on the other side of the mountain range, the bridge hangs at an altitude of 1,500 meters above the ground. This is already the third such bridge on this mountain. Not so long ago, it was just an ordinary wooden path. In the video, you can see how the first visitors to the newly opened bridge carefully walk along the mountain, holding onto the wall. Some try not to look down through the transparent floor and over the railings. For those seeking a sharper thrill, you can also jump into the stars and abyss here. That's all for now, this was Guglov, subscribe to my channel, hit like, and see you tomorrow in a new video, goodbye.